Hi, everybody. It's Rhea Stevenson, ASU grad student. I am in Flagstaff, Arizona. And in case you haven't heard, we got a little bit of rain up here. It's been pretty exciting. Um, I am introducing myself today and uh, going to be doing a very short little presentation for you to uh, show a little bit about myself, the life and times of Rhea Stevenson. Here we go. All right. Here I am. All right. So Rhea Stevenson, Life and Times, part of my little digital project. All right. Here I am on the right. That's me teaching on Zoom. And one day I just found out that um, Spider-Man can appear on the wall behind me, even if I didn't have my green screen. Pretty cool. And the middle picture is my son, Logan, and I. There we go. So this one, <laughs> that is me and uh, my son, Logan, and I in uh, Durango, Colorado. I go to Colorado as much as I possibly can. Um, and I'm a bit of a goofball. So this picture up here at the top is um, me helping my son learn how to spell. So we went around and put little notes all over the place, including on my body. And this bottom picture is me teaching this past year on Zoom. Here in Flagstaff, our schools were shut down for an entire year. So that was very challenging. Um, a little bit about me, I was born in Ohio moved to Michigan when I was very young, and then from Michigan, uh, moved to Illinois in 1995, 95, oh my gosh, no, 1990, sorry. Um, did my undergrad in Illinois, and then um, came to Arizona, and did my student teaching at the Arizona uh, State Schools for the Deaf and Blind, the uh, Phoenix Day School. Moved from there to New Mexico, where I worked at the New Mexico School for the Deaf, and then uh, lived in Santa Fe for 10 years, and then came back to Arizona. So, um, and I've been back in Arizona ever since, in Flagstaff. Uh, here's a little bit <laughs> showing my personality, very extroverted and pretty silly, but this is me. Um, I graduated in 95. Uh, from McMurray College in Illinois and um, got my degree in teacher education uh, in deaf studies. And I minored in English literature. Um, after I had my son, Logan, um, I had my son when I was 40 and I decided to take a break from working for the state school. And I became the director of Music Together of Flagstaff which is a wonderful music program for babies and young children. I did that um, until recently and I just sold the business. We actually shut our doors in the summer of 2020 due to COVID, um, but I had a blast teaching music together. It was really a highlight of my life. And my son went through this program as well. So here's a few photos of some fun. Um, these are some family pictures. My son is the light of my life. So we are pretty tight. He is nine and a half now. And there's a photo of my parents at the bottom. I'm still very fortunate to have them in my life as well. Um, I mentioned I go up to Colorado a lot. I head up to Durango as often as I can. Maybe someday I'll make enough to retire there. Um, so hiking, camping, and paddle boarding. Uh, I love, absolutely love being out on the water in Colorado. So a couple of photos there. And <laughs> I am an avid skier. So that's not me on the snowboard there. I'm behind those folks up at Snowbowl. So every winter I head up to Snowbowl and ski. The middle picture is my big pain in the butt kitty, Cheeto, and my son, Logan. And that's me there on the right with my badges at work. 
So I currently work for Arizona State Schools for the Deaf and Blind as an itinerant teacher working with deaf and hard of hearing students. And this is my last slide. That is a picture of me in 1988, around 1988. Pretty cool haircut, right? And on the left um, is something that really resonates with me. Hopefully you can see it, but life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a well-preserved body, but rather skid in sideways, body thoroughly used up, totally worn out, screaming, woohoo. So that is um, just a little bit about me and I'll be looking forward to seeing what everybody else posts as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful and glorious day.